Hey, howdy everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to episode 6 of my Skyrim playthrough. You know why you're here. To watch me play more Skyrim. We just made it to a new city, forgot the name of that city, but we shall find out. I am in this episode just gonna kind of explore some new stuff, see what we got with this new city, see other things, and I will finally remember that I can give Lydia some things to hold. So, let me test this out. Still here. Uh, I need to do something. All right. What is it? You're in the command state. Issue a command to your follower, move the reticle until the command appears, and press E to give that order. What do you need? Wait there. So how does one... Still need me to do something? Yes. Um, I probably have to drop it first, don't I? That's that would be my, whoa. Control? Did, did I say control to auto run? I guess I did. Okay. Well, uh, let me. I'm just gonna try with something. Let's give her what's something that's like decently heavy. I don't know. I don't really got much here. Give her. Uh, give her a flute. Give her a flute. Drop. Okay, so I talked to her, I need her to do something, um, take the flute. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. So then, how do I get it back, if I were to do such a thing? I'm right behind you. All right, what is it? What do you need? How do I get it back? How do I- need me to do something? Yes, I need you to give me back that flute. Let me see your inventory. Can I... Um, hmm. Well, I'm looking this up. Okay, I figured it out. I did it the wrong way. There's more options if I scroll down. I, so I can go to... I need to trade some things with you. And then, okay, there's the flute. She's got her sword. She's got some arrows. Okay. Cool, good to know. How much can she carry? I suppose I'll find out if... You lead, I'll, follow. I'll find out if the occasion arises. Alright, so here we are. We are in- that's not what I wanted to hit. We are in Windhelm. We've made it to Windhelm in the last episode, so I'm just gonna kinda take it easy. Look around Windhelm. Uh, we finished off the episode by beating up a racist. That was fun. Let's see, Candle Hearth Hall. This is gorgeous. I love the vibe of this place. It is very windy, it lives up to the name. I live, um, near Chicago, so... I'm aware of the Windy City accusations. What do we got here? This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Okay, Betty Boop. What got do you some got? Fresh baked bread and good cheese if Can you have I... a bite to eat. Eh, perhaps, but take a look. Okay, so I can only sell food ingredients because she sells food ingredients. And don't That's another thing. Nothing. She didn't... Get away from me! I just took all your gold. Lydia, 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 please. I just took all your gold. You're not going to say anything about that? Okay, sure. Yo, who's playing this beautiful music? Sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Oh my goodness, I can't walk. Hello? FOV? <gasps> Ooh, Luffin. Beautiful music. No, 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 no. Keep going, yes. keep going, keep going. What do you need? No. Oh, can I make a request? Like a song request? Sure. What can I do for you? Make a song request? Uh, ooh, can you play The Dragonborn Comes? Yes. Our hero, our hero claims a warrior's heart. Bars? I tell you, I tell you, the Dragonborn Comes. That's me. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. That's me, that's me, let's go. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Yeah. Beware, beware the dragonborn comes. For the what darkness are we, what are, what? has passed and 
and the legend yet grows. Be wearing? Like the evil be wearing? You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. Awesome. Um, wish I could play an instrument. Maybe I will be able to at some point. Oh, here, can you sing something else for me? Um, can you sing the other song? What was the other one called? Age of Oppression. That sounds uplifting. No, no, I'm not. I don't, I don't know. I haven't met any of the Stormcloaks, really. To our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of oppression is now nearly done. We'll drive out the empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Bars? All hail to Ulfric, you are the high king. In your great hmm, okay. we drink and we sing. I see why she would assume I was a Stormcloak. And we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Oh, uh, yeah, I was right. This was very uplifting. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. It's quite a haircut. The scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. So is she a dark elf? Is that what this is? I'm trying to learn the different races here. You are the high king. In your great honor we drink and we sing. Oh, that's it? That's it? What do you need? It ends on a five? Ends in a half cadence? Okay, sure, whatever. Hmm? I, I'm not talking to you, I'm, I'm just... I've got my own musings. What do we got here? Cabbages? Any cabbages? No? Okay. I lo Oh, hello. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Susanna the Wicked. The townsfolk call okay. me Captain, because I used to be a sailor. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, who asked? I lost my family years ago. Truth is, oh, here we I don't go. really know what keeps me going. What's there to do in the city? What can I do? I I hit that button, but okay. If you're looking to pass the time, you can give colleagues to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. I'm here right now in Candlehearth Hall. Uh, folk are talking about murders? Are they? I forgot. On the last episode. That. Seems we have a killer on the loose here in Vindhelm. Maybe I can He's remedy that. three victims that I know of. Though maybe there's more that haven't been found yet. All lovely ladies too. <laughs> I'm just Julie Fallis looking over my shoulder here. To the headman's axe. Um, who are the prominent Jordan citizens Jordan in Jordan Vindhelm? He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Cruise see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously, you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, that's... that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Hmm. Okay. Uh, someone suggested... Give me one second. Someone suggested moving my camera over here. That weirds me out. I mean, it's, it's cooler for me, because now it's mirrored, so I can do that. But it weirds me out with... The direction I'm facing. What if I just did this? Right? This isn't like 2013. We don't have to all face the face the direction of the game we're playing, right? Oh, voice crack there. The game. <laughs> Alright, back to it. It's fine. It's fine. No one's gonna really care. If this bothers somebody, let me know if you want me to flip it, but I, I'm just gonna go with this for now. But I'm moving it here because there is some stuff that shows up on the top left and I wasn't aware of that when I set up the screen and then I just kind of ran with it and forgot to do anything about it so thanks for reminding me whoever that was in the comments i forgot it uh what kind of captain are you well nothing at least not anymore folk just call me that because of what i used to do i was mm -hmm. a sailor for many a year i made my coin as a trader and in time i bought my own ship when i retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as captain lonely gale and the name just stuck were you lonely hence the now name and calm seas that's an old sailor's party. Everyone's in calm seas, good sir. How about you, if Stenvar? If you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword arm for hire in all Skyrim. Um, I don't really need a mercenary, but I'll keep that in mind. If you're looking to hire the strongest mercenary in Skyrim, 
If you change your mind, seek me out here. You got it. Currently, I don't want to spend my money because I'm trying to save up for a house. But, you know, if I have 500 gold to spend and I need somebody I dead, I will let you know. She was such a helpful young lass. Adonato Leotelli. Now, more than ever, the world needs tales of... I'll find okay, he's not one of them. My book. Oh, are you the author, dude? No. I, I don't think he is. <gasps> A sweet roll! Gimme. Let's go. What's in here? Second floor? Huh. Ooh, the strings. Wolf Hearth of uh, At Atmora. Rained. Oh, is this. Bro's tomb is just right here? Really? That's. That's um, intriguing. Well, this place is. quite massive. At least on a first observation. Um, this, I. like, I am in love with the aesthetic of this city. Keep up, Lydia, please. This is beautiful. Tomato! I'll take those tomatoes. Oh, this reminds me of like the... Look at the night sky. The... The pie chanting... Not chanting, but like that. Like that stuff. Reminds me of like old Gregorian chant. So fire. Oh! Hello? Hello? No one bought any flowers again today. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> who, what to do. Who are you? Where are your parents? Who are your parents? It's time to stop. They're... They're dead. My mama died when I was little. Oh. I don't remember her very well. My Sophie, father was a no. soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I... I I'm gonna adopt you once I... My Get a house. It's not much, but I can adopt the other girl too, and I can have, have a little a little family. I could adopt you if you want. Do you, do you have a place I could live? No, but I'll be back, Sophie. Oh well. Thanks anyway. I gotta. I'm gonna. I gotta start an orphanage. I'm gonna start a Skyrim orphanage and save all these poor little orphans, wandering around these cities, sleeping in literal corners. That's that's so tragic. Okay, so we got some stuff. I think maybe... Yeah, because it's night, there's... We're kind of locked out of things. What time is it? 3.43 a.m. Okay, so it's... It's it's almost day. I might go to Candle Hearth and sleep. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. No, no. Of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Something tells me he is. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait. That boy. That house. They are cursed. Ha! Huh. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks the dark. I know all the children have the same face. Can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. Her father would run them off. Do you know my father? Grimvar really Cruel Sea. He even talks to the Jarl sometimes. Who is your father? His name is Torsten Cruel Sea. He's really rich. Can't say I've met him. He owns a farm called Hollyfrost. He told me it's a fire name for a farm, not gonna lie. He'd be a sailor, because that's where all our family names come from. But Cruel Sea makes sense, yeah. Farmer. I want to be a warrior! The strongest one ever! Okay, well, uh, good luck with that little dude. Grimvar is a strong name for a child. I guess I'll just explore a bit, and then when morning comes, I'll go into some different areas, and we'll see. What's up, Mr. Guard, sir? How's it going? Windhelm Guard. I have to oh. Wonder, what does the dragon Mrs. Guard, ma'am. Sorry. The Can the My bad. Talk like any skill? Ooh, Palace of the Kings. Now this 
This is a palace for kings. Wow. What's up? Can I get in? Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it. No, I'm the dragonborn because. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See? Watch the magic. See? Told you. Told you. It's me. Can I get in here? Can I need I to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. <laughs> Too bad there's more where that came from. All right. So <laughs> oh, didn't mute my mic for that one. Won't happen again. Good. Sorry. Glad we straightened that out. I was just proving that I was a dragonborn because you thought that you were, and uh, you're wrong. So I'm going to go check this out now. Goodbye. Let's see what we got in here. Won't give us a straight answer. Ooh. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Ooh. So sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How if you're not you with me, then you're my enemy. I need to send Balgraf a stronger message. Hey. My message you mean um. Shoving a hey. His hey. Balgraf seems like a decent dude. Um. Grace would make a more powerful state. So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. I'm right here and you're soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not. Um, I'm insane of White Run. I fear, still need convincing. And I'm listening to your plans. Their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom, but people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Godmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. This is gripping. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Uflik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world were such a day to dawn. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Hey! Um, I heard all that. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without some. I'm I'm the Dragonborn. I believe we've already met. I was at Helgen. Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Mm hmm Yep, he remembers. I was set free, you could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight the Empire. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. I don't know which side I'm on in this in this war that I've got. I'm I'm interested in hearing out both sides. So let me let me hear it. Fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. I Yeah. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. You already said that, dude. Okay, um, yeah. Awesome. Cool. So I will 
be getting to know everybody, getting to know both sides. We'll see where we're at in this war. See kind of who who seems like I want to support them. You didn't see anything. Look, that cabbage was just sitting there begging to be eaten. So I, uh, I just had to, you know. It was practically sitting there with a sign on it that said, Steal me, please. The storm cloaks are finding victory across the land. And nobody was around, so cool. Who Whatever are you? What you've heard I can do is probably true. <laughs> All right. If Ulfric needs a favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. I want to train in destruction magic. And what or who you practice this on. Oh, um... Okay, so you can train different magic types for some gold. I'm not going to do this now, but it's good to know. Something to file away for later. Strength and steel are well and good. Let me know if that's something magic. I should True do. Windhelm Barracks. What time is it? Okay. My guess is things would probably open at 8 or around then. So we'll figure... Ooh, this room This room is a vibe, bro. Look at this. This kind of reminds me of the, of the old Thief games a little no bit. No problem with orcs, but that stronghold they've got in the southeast, Narsulbur, it's an affront to my people. Hmm, okay. Oh, map updated? What are we talking about? Wait, ooh, uh, world map. What are we talking about there? Riften. Everstead. Oh, it's just southeast. Oh, 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 here. Oh, not that far southeast. Right here. Okay. What's the problem with Nazobor? I don't... I don't know. Oh, hello. The Dunmere gets their drinks at the new Nissus Corner Club. Why they can't just call it a tavern is beyond me. <laughs> you should unload some of that unwanted gear. Head over to Saudri's used wares. Talk to the elf. Oh, okay. Windhelm Stables, Windhelm Travel to Solstheim. Where are... What are you... What was updated by the map? Wreck of the Pride of Telvos. Winterhold. Um... Okay, yeah, so this is like my main quest, I'm pretty sure. Retrieve the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. I'm fairly certain that's the main quest. I don't know what was added. All right, well. Everything's all right. I will head to that shop if I can. Let's go, Lydia. Man, this game looks so good. Oh, oh yeah, uh, the Thief games, like Thief Gold and Thief, like the, the old Thief ones are probably one of, if not my favorite games in terms of atmosphere. The gods gave you two hands, and you used them both for your weapon. I can respect that. That's kind of cool. They... <laughs> That's kind of funny. So because I'm good at two-handed weapons, and I use two-handed weapons mostly, and I spec into that, you get like separate special lines of dialogue. That's a really nice touch, actually, for real. Big fan of that. I wonder how much is different depending on what race you are, like what you play, what, how your combat style is, I stuff like that. Like you. He said the thing. And I took an arrow in the knee. He said the thing. Staying safe, I hope. He said the thing. I finally heard it. I finally actually heard it in game. That's funny. That's a good moment. Classic. Someone stole your sword. He said the thing too. South oh my here, goodness. West of the road lies Kronvanger Cave. Stay away from that cursed place and the vampires that call it home. I've been to a vampire place south of here and west. Ah, no, the vampire place I went to was over there. Okay, well, there's another vampire place. Good to know. I'm getting a lot of like map checkoffs. Just by talking to these. Need? Uh, nothing in particular. I'm just kind of observing. But I am a big oh, fan of this place. 
This is cool. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Palace of the Kings upstairs. This game is the so beautiful. Lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Okay. Cozy little hearth room in here. I don't think there's anything. Oh, Lost Legends by Talskar the Elder, archivist of Winterhold. Well, you all like when I read books, so why not? The history of Skyrim is vast, predating even the most ancient records of man and mare. Should I do the accent? Much has been lost, fallen to the ravages of war, the turning of the ages, but nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no records exist, legends and folk tales offer us a key to the past, a way to remember. Oh, wait, where did I? Oh, the next line. A way. I do that sometimes. I'll read a word from the next line and just put it in the line before. A way to piece together truths half remembered in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told whispered tales of the Pale Lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes, forever seeking her lost daughter. Some say she, some, some say she steals children who wander astray. Others that her sobbing wail strikes Desolayorana. Others that her sobbing wail strikes dead all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth, for ancient records speak of Amriel, a mysterious figure, Igramor... Is, Iskramor... Or, is that a Y or a V? Viscramor... Iskr, Viscramor's heirs battle for decades and finally sealed away. <clears throat> Reachmen tell the story of Faulan, Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back the armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they seem to be based... Oh, they seem... They too seem to be based... <laughs> I can't... What, what's wrong with my reading today? Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based on an underlying truth. The Imperial Chronicles of Empress Hestra mention a rebel leader of that era, who was eventually cornered and slain in battle, at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove far harder to analyze. Among scholars, perhaps the best known is the forbidden legend of the Archmage Galdur. In the dawning ages of the First Era, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galdur. Wise and just, he was well known in the courts of King Harlad, Har Harald, Har Harald, Harald, King Harald, and the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by man and mare alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him. Others that the king, others that King Harold, jealous of his power, gave the order. But Galdur's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors and the Lord Germund, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the Reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Folgunther, at the foot of Solitude. These names are insane. The others were run to ground soon thereafter, and once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed, and Galdur's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain, and no bard will tell the tale. But perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin, waiting to be unearthed, for nothing is ever truly forgotten. Cool. I'll be taking that. Uh, 2920 first seed v3. Investigate the Galdor legend. Wait, what just happened? Uh, something happened and I, I didn't notice what it was. <laughs> I'll have to check it in post. First seed, the book three of 2920, the last year of the first era by Karlovac Townway. Maybe I won't read this because it's the third book in a series. Do I have... Are these like alphabetical? Uh, 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 oh, I don't, I didn't take it. Steal. Give it to me! I should probably read the other books first. Yeah, if I have other volumes, I won't read them until I can find the other ones. Argonian Account, Book 1, by Wahinyarth. In a minor but respectable plaza in the Imperial City sat, or perhaps lounged, Lord Vanek's building commission. It was an unimaginative, austere building, not noted so much for its aesthetic or arch architectural design as for its prodigious length. If any critics wondered why such an unornamented extended erection held such fascination for Lord Vanek, they kept it to themselves. 
In the 398th year of the Third Era, Decimus Scotty was a senior clerk at the Commission. It had been a few months since the shy middle-aged man had brought Lord Vanach the most lucrative of all contracts, granting the Commission the exclusive right to rebuild the roads of Valenwood, which had been destroyed in the Five-Year War. For this, he had become the darling of the managers and the clerks, spending his days recounting his adventures more or less faithfully, although he did omit the ending of the tale, since many of them had partaken in the, un in the celebratory Unthraba roast provided by the Selenstri. Informing one's listeners that they've gorged on human flesh improves very few stories of any good taste. True. <laughs> Scotty was neither particularly ambitious nor hardworking, so he did not mind that Lord Vanek had not given him anything to actually do. Whenever the squat little gnomish man would have- Jeez, what does the author have against this dude? Whenever the squat little gnomish man would happen upon Decimus Scotty in the offices, Lord Vanek would always say, You're a credit to the commission. Keep up the good work. In the beginning, Scotty had worried that he was supposed to be doing something, but as the months went on, he merely replied, Thank you, I will. There was, on the other hand, the future to consider. He was not a young man, and though he was receiving a respectable salary for someone not doing actual work, Scotty considered that soon might have that soon he might have to retire and not get paid for not doing work. That is a predicament. It would be nice, he decided, if Lord Vanek, out of gratitude for the millions of gold the Valenwood contract was generating, might deign to make Scotty a partner, or at least give him a small percentage of the bounty. Decimus Scotty was no good at asking for things like that, which was one of the reasons why, previous to his signal success in the Valenwood as a senior clerk for Lord Atreus, he was a lousy agent. He had just about made up his mind to say something to Lord Vanek, when his lordship unexpectedly pushed things along. You're a credit to the commission, the waddling little thing said, and then paused. Do you have a moment free on your schedule? Scotty nodded eagerly and followed his lordship to his hideously decorated and very enviable hectare of an hectare of, uh, of office space. Sorry. Um, is, that, is that a Z? Zenithar blesses us for your presence at the commission, the little fellow squeaked grandly. Oh, squeaked, sorry. I don't know whether you know this, but we were having a bad time before you came along. We had impressive projects, or certain, but they were not successful. In Black Marsh, for example, for years, we've been trying to improve the roads and other routes of travel for commerce. I put my best man, Flesses Tijo, on it, but every year, despite staggering investment of time and money, the trade along those routes can only get slower and slower. Now we have your very clean, very, very profitable Valenwood contract to boost the Commission's profits. I think it's time you were rewarded. Scotty grinned, a grin of great modesty and subtle avarice. I want you to take over the Black Marsh account from Felicis Tijo. Scotty shook as if awaking from a pleasant dream to hideous reality. My lord, I, I couldn't. Nonsense, tripped Lord Vanek. Don't worry about Tijo. He will be happy to retire on the money I give him, particularly as so wrenchingly difficult as this Black Marsh business has been. Just your sort of a challenge, my dear Decimus. Oh no, now he has to actually do something. Scotty couldn't utter a sound, though his mouth feebly formed the words no as Lord Vanek brought out the box of documentation on Black Marsh. You're a fast reader, Lord Vanek guessed. You can read it all en route. En route to... Black Marsh, of course. The tiny fellow giggled. <laughs> you are a funny chap. Where else would you go to learn about the work that's being done and how to improve it? The next morning, the stock of documentation hardly touched. Demicus Scotty began the journey southeast to Black Marsh. Lord Vanek had hired an able-bodied guard, a rather taciturn red guard named, Mal named Malik, to protect his best agent. They rode south along the Nibon, and then southeast along the Silverfish, continuing on to the wilds of Cyrodiil, where the river tributaries had no names, and the very vegetation seemed to come from another world than the nice civilized gardens of the northern Imperial province. Scotty's horse was tied to Malik's. Ma Ma Malik? Malik? Malik's. So the clerk was able to read. It made it difficult to pay attention to the part they were taking, but Scotty knew he needed at least a cursory familiarity with the Commission's business dealings in Black Marsh. 
It was a huge box of paperwork going back 40 years when the commission had been first given several million in gold by a wealthy trader, Lord Zelicles Pinos, Rev Pinos Revina, <coughs> to, sorry, to improve the condition of the road from Gideon to Cyrodiil. At that time, it took three weeks, a preposterously long time for the rice and root he was importing to arrive, half rotten, in the Imperial province. Pinos Ravina was long dead, but many other investors over the decades, including Pelagius IV, we know about him, himself, had hired the commission to build roads, drain swamps, construct bridges, devise anti-smuggling systems, hire mercenaries, and, in short, do everything that the greatest empire in history knew would work to aid trade with Black Marsh. According to the latest figures, the result of this was that it took two and a half months for goods, now thoroughly rotten, to arrive. Scotty found that when he looked up after concentrating on what he was reading, the landscape had always changed. Always dramatically. Always for the worse. This is Blackwood, sir, said Malik to Scotty's unspoken question. It was dark and woodsy, so Decimus Scotty thought that a very thought that a very appropriate name. The question he longed to ask, which in due course he did ask, was What's that terrible smell? Slough point, sir, Malik replied as they turned the next bend where the umbrageous tunnel of tangled tree and vine opened to a clearing. There squatted a cluster of former buildings in the dreary imperial design of flav favoured flavor, by Lord Vanek's commission, and every emperor since Tiber, together with a stench so eye-blindingly, stomach-wrenchingly awful, that Scotty wondered, suddenly, if it were deadly poisonous. The swarms of blood-coloured, sand-grain-sized insects obscuring the air did not improve the view. Scotty and Malik battled at the buzzing battered at the buzzing clouds as they rode their horses towards the largest of the buildings, which an approach which on approach revealed itself to be perched at the edge of a thick black river. Dude, I love books like this. I love books that like they go into the history of some things, but they they tell a story that's interesting. That's really fun to read. <laughs> like I, this is this is my favorite part about this game is just reading these books mostly. Even if I'm not absorbing all this information, just reading it and figuring out like some just just being in the world is so fun from its size and serious aspect scotty guessed it to be the census and excise office for the wide white bridge that stretched across the burbling dark water on the reeds to the reeds on the other side sometimes i'm just my reading's not great today i don't know what's going on <laughs> it was a very nice bright sturdy looking bridge built scotty knew by his commission a poxy, irritable official opened the door quickly on Scotty's first knock. Come in, come in quickly. Don't let the flesh flies in. Flesh flies? Decimus Scotty trembled. Y you mean they eat human flesh? If you're fool enough to stand around and let them, the soldier said, rolling his eyes. He had half an ear, and Scotty, looking around at the other soldiers in the fort, noted that they were all well that they all were well chewed. Ugh. One of them had no notes at all to speak of. Now what's your business? Scotty told them, and added that if they stood outside in the fortress instead of inside, they might catch more smugglers. You better be more concerned with getting across the bri that bridge, the soldier sneered. Tide's coming up, and if you don't get a move on, you won't get to Black Marsh for four days. That was absurd. A bridge swamped by a rising tide on a river? Only the look on the soldier's eyes told Scotty he wasn't joking. Upon stepping out of the fort, he saw that the horses... Evidently tired of being tortured by the flesh flies, had ripped free of their restraints and were bounding off into the woods. The oily water of the river was already lapping on the planks, oozing between the crevices. Scotty reflected that perhaps he would be more than willing to endure a wait of four days before going to Black Marsh, but Malik was already running across. Scotty followed him, wheezing. He was not in excellent shape and never had been. The box of commission materials was heavy. Halfway across, he paused to catch his breath, and then discovered he could not move. His feet were stuck. The black mud that ran through the river was a thick, gluey paste, and having washed over the plank Scotty was on, it held his feet fast. Panic seized him. Scotty looked up from his trap and saw Malik leaping from plank to plank ahead of him, closing fast on the reeds on the other side. Help! Scotty cried. I'm stuck! Malik did not even turn around, but kept jumping. I know, sir. You need to lose weight. Kikama <laughs> Scotty knew he was a few pounds over and had meant to start eating less and exercising more, but embarking on a diet hardly seemed to promise timely aid in his current predicament. No diet on Nern would have helped him just then. 
However, on reflection, Scotty realized that Redguard intended that the Redguard intended that he drop the box of documents, while Malik was no longer carrying any of the essential supplies he had had with him previously. With a sigh, Scotty threw the box's commission notes into the glob and felt the plank under him rise a quarter of an inch, just enough to free him from the mud's clutches. With an agility born of extreme fear, Scotty began leaping after Malik, dropping onto every third plank and springing up before the river gripped him. In 46 leaps, Decimus Scotty crashed to the reeds onto the solid ground behind Malik and found himself in Black Marsh. He could hear behind him a slurping sound as the bridge and his container of important and official records of commission affairs was consumed by the rising flood of dark filth, never to be seen again. That was a good book. I'm taking it. Alright, so that was... Was that like... The first one? Where was that? Yeah, Argonian account book one. Okay, so this... There's more. I gotta find these other books. If I find more Argonian account... She scared me for a second, honestly. I forgot that she was just standing behind me as I read in the whole book. Okay. Huh? I didn't, I didn't say anything. Shut up. Well, that was entertaining. Let's continue. I'm lost. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, hello. Staying out of trouble, kinsman. You know it. Although, if any of you have any cabbages, I will be taking them. Just letting you know. Nothing. I'm trying to leave, but my house Carl is standing in the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Arcane Enchanter. Can I enchant my warhammer? I don't have an enchantment, though. Alright. Well, that's cool. So I can put enchantments on my weapons from here if I had them, but I don't... He looks like he's sleeping peacefully. I'm not going to bother him. I don't think I have anything to... I don't think I have anything to do with the uh, alchemy lab, so I'm just going to ignore that. Dude, the vibe of this place is so cool. I'm such a fan. Oh, look at the sunlight streaming in through the little, like little window slits here. This is so cool. Man, I love this game. Wait, where's the way out? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh it's this way. It's this way. Okay. I took down a dragon. Pretty near single-handedly. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the same conversation that they were having. Well, that was cool. So it should be... Ah, it's 8.04 a.m. Perfect timing. Yeah, see, so because I'm a Nord, she's friendly to me. Are we playing that banger soundtrack song? The do-do-do-do-do-do... I think we are. Huh? Hilevi Krulsi. Are you... Do you know, um... Whatever his name is, Krulsi? The little boy? Are you his mother? Ugh, dude, this this is one of like top three Skyrim songs right here. I love this one so much. I don't want to go into a building because I'm afraid it'll turn off. So let me just kind of continue to get the lay of the land. Steal some food from... I can't get through there. Steal some food from barrels. Explore a little bit. How do I... Excuse me. Can you get back there? Explore a little bit. So what do we got here? House of Clan Shattershield. Anybody home? If not, am I, I may steal a little bit. <laughs> this song is so beautiful. Hello! Of sorts since, since our daughter was taken from us. That's unfortunate. Tova Shattershield. Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. I just miss her so much. Uh, I'm sorry. Doo -doo -doo. I want this loot so bad I'm taking it. She didn't see me, so it's fine. <laughs> Can I learn to play the loot? Because, my goodness, I... Nope. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. Where would that be in? Miscellaneous? Yes. Unusual gem. Weird. 200 value. 
That was worth it. That's worth coming in here. Ugh, this song is so gorgeous. I will never get tired of hearing this. Dude, this game is so good. I can see myself replaying this game many times over the years. Like, this may become one of my favorites. Just in terms of vibes alone, this is immaculate. <gasps> Ooh, a drum, too. I will take that. Thank you. Anything good in the wardrobe? Oh, dude, why is my, my nose itchy? <clears throat> Clearing your throat. Okay. All right, well, that's enough. Nothing cool in here besides that gem and a couple instruments. So that was worth it, though. What is this? Viola Giordano's house. Not going to go in here. She's the... She's the people... Or she's the woman that I was warned about. By the one dude. Not going to mess with her, at least, if I have to expert lockpick to break into her house. <gasps> Cabbages! Let's go. Put your fists away. Okay. House of Clan Cruelty. Oh, this is the Cruelty's house. Am I going to meet little dude again? Forgot his name. Hello. Try to keep Grimvar safe. Grimvar, that's his These name, yeah. Dangerous times. Yeah, Grimvar wants to be a warrior, little crazy boy. Just kind of getting the lay. This is this is a big house. How many people are in this family? There's a lot. Oh, another loot. Uh, actually, no. I I have one, so I'm not gonna take another one. Uh, I will be taking the. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not dealing with that. I don't like confronting the consequences of my own actions. So, plus, like, I didn't mean to do that. I took everything in there. I just meant to see if I could steal the the gold. But like, where is this kid? Like, oh. Oh, oh, okay. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. He saw me directly from... Are you kidding me, dude? He saw me from over here. That's why. All right, fair, fair. I didn't see him there, or I wouldn't have taken anything. I have to. I have to. Gotta take those cabbages, man. Large empty sack. More cabbages. Uh, let's go. What are we at right now? 78. Let's go. I may... I may make Libya... Libya. <laughs> Lydia the cabbage holder. We shall see. 8 gold. I will take that. Thank you. Got another book here. The Song of Pelinal, Volume 6. All right. Um. No, I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna deal with reading the sixth volume of a series, unless there are some that are worth reading, or like you can read them out of order. I won't. So let me know if there are any that are worth reading out of order. But I will be trying to collect them all and read them in order, if at all possible. So cool house you got here. That's one of my favorites. Like one of my favorite houses. It's a cool one. What do we got here? Unlock Kierim requires key. Let me go to that shop that I saw earlier. That's the Shatter Shield house. Are there okay, that's a useless alleyway. Did I Did I just bump into Lydia? And I'm like, hang on, there was like one frame where her neck was like flying, I think. I think I'm gonna edit that in if if that was <laughs> if that was a thing because that was so funny. I need to. Where's this? About okay, about 51 minutes in the recording, so I can take a mental note of editing that in. That was hilarious. I thought I saw her head go like oh, for half a second. Nightshade. 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 What's going on? Hel Helgard. They don't really complain much. You just kind of pray over them, is that your thing? That's cool. I will steal the flowers around. Hello. You hear the news? 
There's a dragon roosting up on Mount Anthor to the northwest. Oh, really? Like up here? I found a dragon here, I think. It was somewhere over here, I'm pretty sure. In the last episode. I'm not going to fight it because it looks scary. Oh, map updated. Ah, there we go. Mount Anthor. What do you know? Oh, I get so it didn't mark that dragon, I think, because I didn't get close enough. I just kind of saw it. But I'm not going to engage that thing in combat. This? Name's Nils. I'm the oh. cook up at Candlebox. You're the cook? What are you doing? You're not holding anything, and you're... All right, then. 13 years after the game release, and it still has these bugs. So where was that place I was going to go? I think it was right here. Yes, Calixto's House of Curiosities. I help you? Yeah, I want to know about your curiosities. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Troll fats, embalming tool, fire salt, scroll of blizzard, scroll of harmony. These are worth 500. Maybe they're worth stealing? I don't know. Oh, the Book of Fate. Let me read this. Oops, 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 oops. I didn't mean to take it. I meant to turn the page, but nothing was happening. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm reloading. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I want a bounty on my head. Good lord. Book of Fate. Alright. Uh, oh, there's nothing in here. That's the point. Okay. Is that like the dragon scroll from Kung Fu Panda? It's blank. The true power was inside me all along. Some cool stuff here. I got some interesting like troll skull. Weird. Sure. How much you charge for a tour? Oh, what's up here? Ah, I can steal from his chest if I have a key. Sister, I don't care much for you mentioned a tour. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. Yeah, two gold, Splendid. sure. Maybe a knight will come in and rob you blind. Alright, let's go. Show me some stuff. I'm intrigued. Are your eyes red? Are you okay, dude? You been smoking? They belong to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? Cool. What else you got, dude? Here is the book of what are you owing about? In a Ooh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader. So the words change from one person to the next. I saw nothing. What some does that mean? See only blank pages. And nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny. Or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Or maybe it's just a blank book. Here's an item out of legend. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Nobody <laughs> can eat soup with a fork. <laughs> well, my friend, you did not know Iskramor. What? <laughs> what in the world are you talking Don't about? Let this Innocent looking flute fool you, for this is the dancer's <gasps> pipe. I stole his key. Legend holds that the dancer's <laughs> pipe has I stole wars, the key. toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origins, but the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. Interesting. To activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are 
Oh my, I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? You seem like a con man. And with that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. All right, cool. I'm going to go uh, break into your chest real quick before you notice. What you got? 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 Okay, there's nothing cool here. There's nothing cool there, but I have your key. Sucker. <laughs> Put all your money in the chest. It's safe, I swear. Although I have the key, so we can't do that now. Is the girl still here? No. All right. Now what? Is this Candle Hearth? Run Wolf Free Winter. No. Okay. So, I think I... No, 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 no. Because there... I did not find everything here. There should be a... There should be a shop, wasn't there? Like, where's... Where's a shop? Who are you? Silda the Unseen. Spare a coin. Talos rewards the generous. Train me to be a better pickpocket. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. But it'll cost you. How much? Two ten... Mm. No thanks. Take your gold, though. Oh, thank you. I'm generous. Divines bless your kind heart. The divine smile. The gift of charity added. Is that... No. No. Incredible soul. What does that mean? It's not an active effect. Whatever. I don't know. I like being charitable, you know? What's down here? I don't think I've been this way. Some ripped flags. Is this the market district? Another house. Another house. Feral Atheron. Farm work is hard work. It's good to relax when I can, but I still have to listen to my brothers harping about injustices. You guard is this your house? Even the name Gray New Nissus Corner Club. Hello, Lydia. Is this the thing that he was like, why well, they can't just call it a tavern or it's beyond me or whatever? What is up, Ambaris Rendar? Lord. You say that sarcastically? Let's what have you got time. for sale? Can I sell some other stuff? No. There have been murders in Windhelm? None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. How are the Dark Elves treated in Windhelm? Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the uh, other flows downhill, what they say. This is the Good poor district. The to help with anything. For the it's hard to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Why are there so many Dark Elves Where here? Else would we be? I the don't know. I don't know this world well enough. How would I? Scarcely breathe in Morrowind, so we came west. Oh, is Morrowind we your home? Was the first city on that road, and here we are. If we had known hmm. the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? Can't say I have. They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Where can I learn? Oh, visit the shrine of Azura. Will do. Where can I learn more about magic? The College of Winterhold is the only place in Skyrim open-minded enough to teach magic. Although Ulfric's court wizard has been known to take on apprentices once in a while. I want to be a bard, honestly. If you need okay. I'll be right here. Sounds good. Anything up here that's cool? Imperial armor. 35 weight. That's kind of crazy. Empty barrels. Empty wardrobes. A game at dinner. Oh, alchemy increased to 17. Cool. A game at dinner by an anonymous spy. Forward from the publisher. The history behind this letter is almost as interesting and dark as... Ooh, I like interesting and dark. Almost as interesting and dark as the story it tells. The original letter to the mysterious... Darnain. Darnain. Was copied and began circulating around the Ashlands of Vardenfell a few months ago. In time, a print found its way to the mainland prince Hlau Helseth's palace outside Almalexia. 
While the reader may conclude after reading this letter that the prince would be furious about such a work, impunging his highness with great malevolence, quite the reverse was true. Im impugning? Impug impugning. I've seen that word before, but I, I forget what it means. Whatever. The prince and his mother, Queen Baranzaya, had it privately printed into bound copies and sent to libraries and booksellers throughout Morrowind. As a matter of record, the prince and the queen have not officially stated whether this letter is a work of pure imagination or based on actual occurrence. The house dress has publicly denounced the work, and indeed no one named Downane, despite the suggestions in the letter, has ever been linked to the house. We leave the reader to interpret the letter as he or she believes. Nariscan, publisher. Dark Liege Jaunane, you asked for a detailed description of my experience last night and the reasons for my plea to house dress for another assignment. I hope I have served you well in my capacity as an informant in the court of Prince Helseth, a man who I have stated in many previous reports could teach Molag Baal how to scheme. As you know, I spent nearly a year now working my way into his inner circle of advisors. He was in need of friendship when he first arrived in Morrowind and eagerly took to me and a few others. Still, he was disinclined to trust any of us, which is perhaps not surprising given his tenuous position in Morrowind society. Oh, your unholiness's recollection, the prince is the eldest son of Baron Zaya, who was once the queen of Morrowind and once the queen of the High Rock Kingdom of Wayrest. At the death of her husband, Prince Helseth's stepfather, King Edwire, there was a power struggle between the prince and Edward's daughter, the princess Elisana. Though details of what transpired are imperfect, it is clear that Elisana won the battle and became queen, banishing Helseth and Baron Zaya. Baron Zaya's only other child, Morgaya, had already left court to marry and become queen of the Somerset Isle Kingdom of First Hold. Baron Zaya and Helseth crossed the continent to return to Morrowind only last year. They were well received by Baron Zaya's uncle, our current king, Hlalu Athen Lethen. These are some names, dude. Who had taken the throne after Baron Zaya's ab abdication more than 40 years ago. Baron Zaya made it clear that she had no designs <coughs> on reclaiming the throne, but merely to retire her family estates. Helseth, as you know, has lingered in the royal court, and many have whispered that while he lost the throne of Wayrest, he does not intend to lose the throne of Morrowind at Lethen's death. I have kept your unholiness informed of the prince's movements, meetings, and plots, as well as the names and character of his other advisers. As you may recall, I have often only I have often thought that I was not the only spy. See, I did it again. Take a word from the line below. Stick it in the line above. I have often thought that I was not only the spy. Not often thought that I was not the only spy in Helsa's court. I told you before that a particular Dunmer counsellor of Helseth looked like a fellow I had seen in the company of Tholer Sarioni, the archcanon of the Tribunal Temple. Another, a young Nord woman, has been verified to visit the Imperial Fortress in Balmora. Of course, in their cases, they might well have been on Helseth's own business, but I couldn't be certain. I had begun to think myself paranoid as the prince himself when I found... Think myself paranoid as the prince himself when I found myself doubting the sincere loyalty of the prince's chamberlain, Burgess, a Breton who had been in his employ since his days in the court of Wayrest. That is the background on that night, last night. That's a lot. I don't... I'm not going to process any of that. Yesterday morning, I received a curt invitation to dine with the prince. Based only on my own paranoia, I dispatched one of my servants, who was a good and loyal servant of the house dress, to watch the palace and report back anything unusual. Just before dinner, he returned and told me what he had witnessed. A man cloaked in rags had been given entrance to the palace and had stayed there for some time. When he left, my servant saw his face beneath the cloak. An alchemist of infamous repute, said to be a leading suppliers of exotic... Said to be... Wait. Said to be a leading suppliers of exotic poisons. Okay. A fine observer, my servant also noticed that the alchemist entered the palace smelling of wickwheat bitter green, and something alien and sweet. When he left, he was odorless. Suspicious? He had come to the same conclusion as I did. The prince had procured ingredients to prepare a poison. Bitter green alone is deadly when eaten raw, but the other ingredients suggested something far deeper. As your unholiness can doubtless imagine, I went to dinner that night prepared for any eventuality. 
all of Prince Helts' other counselors were in attendance, and I noticed that all were slightly apprehensive. Of course, I imagined that I was in a nest of spies, and all knew of the prince's mysterious meeting. It is just as likely that some knew of the alchemist's visit, while others were simply concerned by the nature of the prince's invitation, and still others merely unconsciously adopted the tense disposition of their fellow, better-informed counsellors. The prince, however, was in fine metal, and soon had everyone relaxed and at ease. At nine, we were all ushered into his dining hall where the feast had been laid out. And what a feast! Honeyed gore apples, fragrant stews, roasts in various blood sauces, and every variety of fish and fowl expertly and ostentatiously prepared. Crystal and gold flagons of wine, flynn, shine, and master were at our seats, and to be seats to be savoured as appropriate with each course. As tantalizing as the aromas were, it occurred to me that in such a maze of spies of spices and flavors, a discreet poison would be undetectable. Throughout the meal, I maintained the illusion of eating the food and drinking the liquor, but I was surreptitious and swallowed nothing. Finally, the plates and food were cleared from the table, and a tureen of a spicy broth was placed in the center of the banquet. <clears throat> Sorry. The servant who brought it then retired, closing the banquet hall door behind him. It smells divine, my prince, said the Marchion the, the Marginus Colgar, the Nord woman. But I cannot eat another thing. Your Highness, I added, feigning a tone of friendliness and slight intoxication. You know that everyone at this table would gladly die to put you on the throne of Morrowind, but is it really necessary that we gorge ourselves to death? The others at the table agreed with appreciative groans. Prince Helseth smiled. I swear by Vainermia, the gifter, my dark liege, even you have never seen a smile such as this one. Ironic words. You see, an alchemist visited me today, as some of you already doubtless know. He showed me how to make a marvellous poison, and its antidote. A most potent potion, excellent for my purposes. No restoration spell will aid you once you've ingested it. Only the antidote in the terrain will save you from certain death. <laughs> what a death from what I've heard. I'm eager to see if the effects are all that the alchemist promised. It should be horribly painful for the afflicted, but quite entertaining. No one said a word. I could feel my heart beating hard in my chest. Your Highness, said Alarat, the Dunmer I suspected of alliance with the temple. Have you poisoned someone at this table? You are all very astute, Alarat, said Prince Helseth, looking about the table, eyeing each of his advisers carefully. Little wonder I value your consul. As indeed I value all in this room, it would be perhaps easier for me to say who... I haven't poisoned. I haven't poisoned any who serve but one master, any who's loyal to me is sincere. I haven't poisoned any person who wants to see King Helseth on the throne of Morrowind. I haven't poisoned anyone who isn't a spy for the Empire, the Temple, the House of Telvanni, the House of Redoran, the House of Indoril, or the House of Dress. Your Unholiness, he looked directly at me at this, his last words. I know that in certainty. My face is practiced at keeping my thoughts from showing, but I immediately thought of every secret meaning I've ever had, every coded message I sent to you in the house, my dark liege. What could he know? What could he, even without knowing, suspect? I felt my heart beating even faster. Was it fear or poison? I couldn't speak, certain as I was that my voice would betray the calm facade. Those loyal to me who wish harm on my enemies may be wondering, how can I be certain that the poison has been ingested? Is it possible that the guilty party, or dare I say parties, were suspicious and merely pretended to eat and drink tonight? Of course. But even the craftiest pretenders would have to raise a glass to his or her lips and put empty forks and spoons in their mouths to play the, the charade. The food, you see, was not poisoned. The cups and cutlery were. So if you did not partake out of fear, you're poisoned just the same. That's smart, dude. <laughs> and sadly, missed an excellent roast. Sweat beaded on my face, and I turned from the prince so he would not see. My fellow advisors, all of them, were frozen in their seats. And the Marchioness Kogar, white with fear, to Kema Ineb, visibly shaking, from the furrowed, angry brow of Alaret to the statue like stare of Burgess. 
I couldn't help thinking then, could the prince's entire counselorship be comprised of nothing but spies? Was there any person at the table loyal? And then I thought, what if I were not a spy myself? Would I trust Helseth to know that? No one knows better than his advisors both the depth of the prince's paranoia and the utter impla implacability. Like, like placated, like of, of, that has to do with the word placated, right? Utter implacability of his ambition. If I were not a spy for the house dress, even then, would I be safe? Could a loyalist be poisoned because of a not-so-innocent misjudgment? The others must have been thinking the same, loyalists and spies alike. When my mind, while my mind whirled, I could hear the prince's voice addressing all assembled. The poison acts quickly. If the antidote is not taken within one minute from now, here will be death at the table. I couldn't decide whether I'd been poisoned or not. My stomach ached, but I reminded myself it might have been the result of sitting at a sumptuous banquet and, banquet, banquet and not partaking. My heart shook in my chest, and a bitter taste like trauma root stung my lips. Again, was it fear or poison? These are the last words you will ever hear if you are disloyal to me said Prince Helthus, still smiling that damn smile as he watched his advisors squirming in their seats. Take the antidote and live. Could I believe him? I thought of what I knew of the prince and his character. Would he kill a self-confessed spy at his court? Or would he rather send the vanquished back to their masters? The prince was ruthless, but either possibility was within his manner. Surely the theatricality of this whole dinner was meant to be a presentation to instill fear, what would my ancestors say if I joined them after sitting at a table, eventually dying of poison? What would they say if I took the antidote, confessing my allegiance to you and the house dress, and was summarily executed? And, I confess, I thought of what you might do to me even after I was dead. I had grown so light-headed and filled with my own thoughts that I didn't see Burgess jump from his seat. I was only suddenly aware that he had, that he had the terrine in his hands and was gulping down the liquid within... There were guards, all around, though I never noticed them entering. Burgess, said Prince Helseth, still smiling. You've spent some time at Ghostgate. House Redoran? You didn't know? Burgess laughed sourly. No, House. I report to your stepsister, the Queen of Wayrest. I've always been her employ. By Akatash, you poisoned me because you thought I was working for some damnable dark elves? You're half right, said the Prince. I didn't guess who you were working for, or even that you were a spy, but you're also wrong about me poisoning you. You poisoned yourself when you drank from the Turin. Your unholiness, you don't need to hear how Burgess died. I know that you have seen much over the many, many years of your existence, but you truly don't want to know. I wish I could erase the memory of his agonies from my own mind. <laughs> the council was dismissed shortly thereafter. I do not know if Prince Helseth knows or suspects that I too am a spy. I do not know how many others that night, last night, were as close as I was from drinking from the terrine before Burgess did. I only know that if the prince does not suspect me now, he will. I cannot win at the games he mastered long ago at the court of Wayrest, and I beg your unholiness, my dark liege Darnane, to use your influence in the house dress and dismiss your loyal servant from this charge. Publisher's note. Of course, the, anon the anonymous writer's signature has not been on any reprint of the letter since the original. These stories are so good. These stories are insanely good. Dude, that prince was... That's probably the best way to root out spies I've ever heard. That's so cunning. Tell them they're poisoned and they have to drink the antidote. Make it so that it's like the... They don't know if they've been poisoned or not. There's a whole spider right here. Hang on. Bro was just hanging on a web. He must have come down from the air vent. The air vent's right above me here. But he was just hanging. I looked over at, at OBS and I saw him like right in front of my camera face. And he's just he's just on the web. He's just chilling. He's going up. Now he's dead. I missed the garbage, but it's fine. All right. Wow, dude, that story was great. I I'm in love with these books. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna read this one. I, I've I've read enough this episode, but just give me this one. The Arctur the Ar 
Arcturian Heresy by the Underking Ismir Kingmaker. That is a whack. Okay, I'm gonna steal this. I'll read it later. Uh, okay. But is that a drum? That is a drum. I already have a drum. Alright, I'm about to head out. <clears throat> Let's go. So, this is like the Dark Elf. Farm work Who are you? Work. It's good to relax when I can, but I still have to listen I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. Why is everyone taking an arrow to the knee or a sword to the chest? Also, the song's playing again. You hear the Hello. News? There's a dragon roosting up on Mount I have heard, actually. The northwest. Sadri's used wares. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored. Can I trade All with you? my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Nothing you're stolen? Nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Uh oh I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. I wonder if I could sneak in her house. It's ah. dangerous. But there you go. Sneak yep. The ring into her house. Put it in a dresser or something. I will make it worth your while. Okay. Yeah. Who supplies your goods? Scrape this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Cool. Uh, can I? A bit of this and a bit of that. Can I sell some things? Let's go. Okay. I'm not sure what I should keep for some crafting things and what I can sell. Huh. The soul gems I think I need for for enchanting stuff, so I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna sell some of these, sure. Speech increase 23. Woohoo! Yes, new level. Okay. Can do that as well. What was the other thing that cost a lot? I read that as conundrum ingot. <laughs> oh, the amethyst. Sell a couple of those. I'm in soul gem. Okay, I, I gotta keep the soul gems. I feel like I uh, sell the garnet, I guess. Okay. Uh, I did not Somebody hit that. Junk. Whatever. I call them treasures. Potions, apparel. Did I sell some stuff? I'm gonna sell the circlet. Uh, I'm gonna. Should I keep the resist shock? Circlet of minor restoration. Ugh. I kind of want to sell some of these things just to. Hmm. Potions don't weigh much. I can hold on to those. Scrolls. Sorry if this is boring. I'm just kind of going through things. I want to keep all the books. I may just give Lydia a bunch of my books. Some may call this okay, all right. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I get it, I get it. What weighs a lot that I need to get rid of? I think really, honestly, like, a lot of the stuff I have is just, I just have a lot of sometimes. Mostly food. I'm, I'm, what am I going to do with all this food, dude? Like, for real. Like, what am I going to do with 37 tomatoes? Maybe cook some soup. Maybe I will keep it because I... I I'll cook it at some point. <sighs> Alright, okay. Come again. Where are we sitting at? 3404. We're getting closer to a house. Only about 1600 more gold. And then I can get a house. Sneak that so that's cool. I will on my way to do that right now. And I know where she lives, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to loop around this way because I think this goes back to the upper parts. Hello, Hi, Sophie. Mr. What do you 
Wouldn't you like to buy some flowers? Please. <laughs> yeah, I would. Much, but I hope you like them. Oh, she's so sweet. Um, I'll buy a red mountain flower for five gold. Sure. Who are you? Where are your parents? I. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. Of course, I feel. Huh? <laughs> feel bad for you. I'll I'll adopt you. Red apple, green apple. Hit R at the wrong time. Salt pile, good. Need salt piles. Uh, 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 uh. Give me stuff. Okay. Where is... Is this all that's over here? It's over this way. Oh, more barrels. Sack of flowers. This has been a very chill episode. I'm a little lost. Where am I right now? Oh, this is that. Oh, this is okay. 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 I I know. I'm, I know where I am now. So, her house is the no the no. The entrance is right here, right? Yeah. Wait. How did I get to her house then? <laughs> I'm so turned around, dude. Like I know where I'm at, but I don't know where I'm going. If that makes sense. No, her house is this way. It has to be. Hey, watch it. The townsfolk. Lydia, you watch it. Oh, hello, Mr. Blacksmith. What did I take damage from? Oh, running into the sign? Are you kidding me? That's really funny, actually, for real. There's a graveyard woman. What's this? Hall of the Dead. I'm intrigued. Let's go. Is this like a mausoleum? Or a big underground mass grave of some sort? Well, this is some oppressive atmosphere. You'd love to see it. Weird. People chill down here? Is this where the old woman lives? Why does this look trapped? I feel like I'm gonna step on a plate and get skewered with a bunch of air. What is this? Shrine of RK. Blessing of RK added. Okay, I don't know where. Where, where do I view those things? Because it had like the gift of charity or whatever. Blessing of RK. Is there some place I can go to learn about what those are, what they do? Because I don't know. I'm just confused. Or if there's not, just tell me in the comments about what they. Oh, level up available. That's right. Thank you for telling me. Um, more stamina. Okay, what? I can increase one perk. Speech. Buying and selling prices are 50% better. I've got that. Persuasion attempts 30% easier can bribe. 10% price is better price the opposite sex. You can sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. <gasps> I need this. I need this. Oh, I need that so badly. We'll go 15% better. But I absolutely need that can sell any type of item to any type of merchant. That is a definite need. Oh, first body I found. Look at that low poly skeleton. I'm lost. How do we get out? I don't I don't want to be here anymore. The hurry is I'm scared, Lydia, so mind if you keep up the pace a little bit. Barrel. Steel. Who's gonna? Oh, I gotta steal their cabbages. I'm so glad I checked that barrel. Although that makes me wonder how many cabbages I've passed over. Where is Viola's house? Is it on the left side as you walk in? And I was just mistaken. Oh, we got some. Oh. Cookware, knives, and all the good fruits and vegetables. It was all delicious and affordable. I enjoy cooking, and after what you and Tova have been through. It was the least I could do. Any cabbages? My little Frigga. I've been a bit out of sorts since. Oh, it's since Tova. Was taken out from of okay. She made the most amazing leek soup. This is a cute little she courtyard. What's this? When she saw the white file. I'll be fine. 
Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. You don't know what's inside. Uh, uh, I'll... Uh, I can... Uh, uh, just... Uh, uh. Bro's gonna die. See, you're not well. Have a seat. Forge numbers. What is... I didn't... You know, I did. I remember I didn't do that on the other... Other one that I found. I'll take your sweet roll. Hey, hands off. Huh? I'll be I didn't know he could see me. What is he? What did he even do? You see through the floorboards? I'm leaving. Dumb, stupid, dumb idiot, dumb. You won't let me take his stuff. Stupid. Did I, wait, hang on. Did I seriously take damage from running from running into the sign? What you're doing. Have you ever lost anyone close? No, what did I take damage from? Because I walked like over here and my health bar showed up. Name's Nils. I'm the cook. Cool, Nils. Don't care. Looking for Viola's house. I saw it. And now I'm going crazy because I know I saw it and I can't find it anymore. I should have just gone the other way, back up where I came from. This place is a maze. I have no clue where I... Oh, Olaf, one eye. Rain, first era, 420 to 452. Subdued in the foul... Subdued the foul dragon Numenex. Reunited Skyrim after the War of Succession and... Conquered the Xalbaris Reach. Okay. <laughs> Was it this way? No, because this is. Ugh. Where is she? I'm so upset now. I legit saw her house. And I was like, oh, that's her house. And then I can't find it anymore. Is it this way? No, I just came from this way. Is it... What? I'm so confused. That's Candle Parth. Or whatever. This is the other way back into the... Where's her house? So confused right now. I'm so turned around. But also not at the same time. Like, I know I'm right at the entrance. I know... I know that. Where is... Her house? You should unload some of that unwanted gear. Head over to Sadri's used wares. Talk to the elf. I did, I did. I talked to him and I figured stuff out. Bought some stuff. Is she... Is she one of... <laughs> Ah, uh, where's her house? Oh, Temple of Talos. I haven't been here yet. Still can't find her stupid house. I'm just gonna like cut to it, whenever I find it. I'm just gonna bore you with all my running around. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. I've heard about him. Is that him? To receive the blessing of Talos, you have only to pray at the altar. What does Talos have to do with the war? The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. That's why, okay. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Are the people of Windhelm devout? Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. Helevi Cruel Seeker. I learned about that. But I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for their son's a little I speak to warrior Captain boy. Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. Too busy what? He's retired. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septum, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Interesting. 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 
Trinotelos! There he is. Tiber Septim. Talos himself. Crushing a serpent. Is that your bed? This is a pretty meager... Oh. I spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. Talos created the Empire. They yeah, I I wondered about that too, because he yeah, he created the Empire. And they hate him because they don't like mortals becoming gods. Interesting predicament. Alright, I'm gonna look for a house now. I'll cut to whenever I find it. What do you need? Oh, oh, it's probably up here. Oh, oh, oh. I completely forgot there's a whole other upper section to this place here it is okay all right all right yeah right hopefully she's not home we will find out oh that that, that was unsatisfying oh come on i do have like 40 something lockpicks 47 hello oh it moved it moved a wee bit or is that just my imagination? No, that's my imagination. Oh, come on! I'm gonna go through so many lockpicks trying to get in this place. Oh! There it is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, so close. Come on. Dang it. What do you mean? Oh, good lord. There we go. Please don't be home. Please don't be home. Please don't be home. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ring, 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 ring. Ring, ring. V would it be under V for Viola? Yep, Viola's gold ring. Drop. Quest item cannot be removed from your... What? What? I'm trying to... I'm trying to drop it. I'm trying to put it on her thing. Okay, he said on a dresser or something. Is there... Oh, song of... Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm going to steal these since I'm here anyway. Might as well make it worth my while. You feel me? May as well take any cabbages she has here too while we're at it. Oh, shovel? Is it useful for something? I don't know. May as well use her cooking pot too while we're at it. <laughs> um, what can I make here? Vegetable soup. Can't use that because that, that uses cabbages. Venison sh chop. Sure. Tomato soup. Horker stew. Sure. Thanks, boot. Alright. I, I hope that was Lydia coughing and not Viola. Might as well, you know, make this whole venture worth my while. If I'm going to help her out, I should take something in return. Please don't be upstairs. Please don't be upstairs. Please don't be upstairs. Please don't be upstairs. Scouting out the area. Doesn't seem like she is here. <sighs> Lydia, you're freaking me out, girl. Making me think that Viola's home. I don't think she's home. I will take that book too. Thank you. Book of Daedra. Oh, oh my lord, that's a lot of books. Legend of Red Eagle. Well, find Red Eagle's sword. Brief History of the Empire Part 3. Darkest Darkness. That sounds like a fire book. The Real Baron Zaya. Ooh. The Real Baron Zaya. Ancestors in the Dunmer.
Okay, I'm starting to think that I'm starting to think that she is not home. Take more gold. Two from wardrobe. But can I? How do I? How do I drop this off? Okay, because hang on. What's my? Uh, 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 uh. What was it called? What was the what was the quest called? Why don't I have that quest anymore? Take more gold. What do I do? Because I have the thing. Viola's gold ring. There we go. Drop. Quest items cannot be removed from your inventory. What do I do? This is just going to frustrate me. I'm going to look this up. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I can just... I can go to steal from, and then I can put it in there, right? Store. Can I put it in her wardrobe? You know, I'll take that while we're at it. Sure. Wow, dude. I'll take your gold, though. I'm just putting a bunch of gold from this. Why can I not? Do I have to specifically put it in a dresser like he said? Because he was like, put it in a dresser or something. Does this count? That's a wardrobe. Ugh. That's a wardrobe. Ah, dresser. There we go. Now I should be able to just... Put that in there. Yes. Okay. Specifically had to be in there. Got it. Now I can tell Revan Viola's gold ring has been planted. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Hush. Okay. So don't forget, there's this upper area. Nothing over there. That's be awesome. Careful. Shut up, Lydia. You be careful. Oh, this place is beautiful at sunset. Red mountain flower. More red mountain flower. Oh, there's Grimvar again. Oh, I can get there from here, too. Okay. See, I, I never I never went there, that direction. Yeah, Grimvar wants to bite off more than he can chew. Okay, so now I can go back to Dude. I'll adopt you, Sophie. Don't worry. I bought your flowers, Sophie. Shut up. I bought your flowers. I'm going to adopt you, I swear. Oh, I feel so bad for her. This one, right? Yeah. Sadri's used words. I, I did it. I did it. I have. Thank you. Thank you. Asura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here, everything I earned from my last shift. Everything? Ooh. 400 gold. Oh, oh my god. I like to train in the, I like training the art of speech. Well, you've come to the right place. I do want training because, my goodness. Train. Speech increased to 24. Okay, so I can be... So you can train five times per level. I have to get to 50 speech, right? Because that's what gets me... Oh, I have some boost. I have some boost to speech. I have to get to 50 speech because that's what allows me to get the... Can sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. Again. That's going to take a little bit. But that's such a good one to get. Alright. Wow. Well, that was a very productive day in Skyrim. I think that's a good end to this episode. I helped some people out. I got to know a bit more about the Stormcloaks. I got to bit I got to know a bit more about Winterhold in general. It's a pretty cool place. I'm sorry, Windhelm, not Winterhold. <laughs> Different place. There's a lot of things that begin with W's and I'm forgetting them. It's a pretty cool place. I think 
aesthetic wise vibe wise it's my favorite area in the game so far there are a lot of different storylines going on here but the few people that i met like the captain dude and the the fan the cruel sea family and the uh, like other people here i think are really cool and they really add a lot to just fleshing out the world so it's super interesting to just kind of get to know some of the people even if they aren't huge players in the story it's fun to know who they are and just to get familiar with them i think that's probably my favorite part of the game is just chatting with the people reading these books that have some super interesting lore even if i don't absorb all of it the little stories that i'm reading in some of these books are just very interesting like the story of the guy trying to get to the what is it black marsh or something like that guy who was like he's not qualified for this he gets paid for doing nothing he <laughs> then he gets sent to go deal <laughs> to go deal with the black marsh and then and like the the prince setting up the dinner party to catch his spies like and that kind of stuff is so fun so i can't wait to read more of that however there are a ton of books and unless i dedicate some episodes to just purely reading books i don't think i can get through all of them if you want me to dedicate episodes to just reading books i can that could be a fun thing to do maybe i i think what i'll continue to do i'll sort of continue playing i'll go through the quest lines as normal i may read one two maybe three books an episode and at the end of the playthrough if i have not read everything if people want me to if that's something that you're interested in i might go back and i might read all the books and just kind of like put episodes out past the end of the series quote unquote where i'm just sort of reading books and just learning about the lore or if i missed any important books or anything you guys can tell me where to find those and or just tell me what books i missed i can look them up and do that but that's something that i will probably do at the end of the playthrough once i've kind of finished the game which this is a long game i can already tell so i don't think i'll finish this anytime soon but i've also unlocked a, a bunch of cool different quests like i've got this area here nozzlebore where i you know we're not quests but like different areas where it's like okay there's some orcs here you got to figure that out there's some vampires in this cave there's a dragon up in this mountain there's some other there's just some interesting things around the area too that i'm unlocking for me to figure out so super happy to see what all that has in store for me uh thanks for watching this episode hope you enjoyed this one hope it was interesting even though it was a little more laid back and chill no combat but a lot of lore a lot of chatting with people a lot of getting to know the city even though i got lost but it's fine because i figured it out in the end so it's okay that was a fun episode it's fun this is like a little filler episode but for people who enjoy lore which seem to be the majority of people who are watching this series this is probably a really good episode so thanks for watching i had a blast with this Th this like i've been recording for like an hour and 47 minutes it's probably shorter for the video because i I cut out some of me just wandering around but this flew by like I did not mean to record this long but I mean I had other episodes that were like two hours and stuff but just because of time constraints my episodes might be a little bit shorter they'll be like maybe hour hour and a half just because I don't have enough longer spans of time right now but we'll see so thanks for watching had a great time loving this game so far yeah See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.